scientific method madness. One, two, one, two, three, four. Well, first we ask a question, decide what we want to know. And then we do some research, what did other people show? And then we try to answer with an educated guess. A way to solve our problem is called our hypothesis. And then we set up an experiment to test if we were right. There's a method to our madness, and that's why we call it science. There's a method to our madness, and that's why we call it science. Experiment keep most everything the same. We keep everything constant, only one variable is changed. The independent variable is different from the rest. It's the one thing that we change when we put it to the test. If the dependent variable is affected by the changes, we were right. There's a method to our madness, and that's why we call it science. There's a method to our madness, and that's why we call it science. Well, during an experiment, there are two important sets. One that we compare to and the other that we test. The control has nothing changed and results can be predicted. While experimental groups are where the changes are inflicted. To predict it's come true and our hypothesis was right. There's a method to our madness and that's why we call it science. There's a method to our madness and that's why we call it science. The experiment is over, we will analyze results. And failure is an option, cause we're learning just as much. If results are consistent, then conclusions can be made. And data can be organized, reported, and displayed. And sometimes our data shows our hypothesis was right. There's a method to our madness, and that's why we call it science. There's a method to our madness, and that's why we call it science.